Hey, it's Steve with the IvyBot results for week number four. IvyBotReview.net is where you can keep updated on the IvyBot review from us. You can check out our videos and our weekly updates. We will be posting our updates weekly, and if we feel that the IvyBot doesn't show potential for long-term profits, we will let you know. And we'll probably make that determination in the next two to three weeks uh, prior to the 60-day refund policy on ClickBank. But we're going to make that determination, not just yet, but in a couple of weeks. IvyBot started the week off uh, really nicely, ended with a couple of bad trades. Uh, we're still up overall for the IvyBot, uh, but it was a down week, and Dan will talk to you about the results. Again, you can find our brokerage statements at ivybotreview.net slash results.html. Here's Dan with the results. Have a great week. Talk to you next Hi, this is Dan with the IvyBot Weekly Update. Well, it was a fairly active week this week, so let's get right to the results. So here we're looking at the live account. And as you can see, we had four trades this week. Uh, two wins and two losses. Unfortunately, we did lose $41.16 for the week in the account. And now we're looking at the demo account. And as you can see, the demo account had two trades. Now, I am recording this on Sunday night, and so it, this includes a trade that just ended up closing. But the account overall is up $21.43. Now, again, uh, this is the demo account. I'm using the more aggressive settings. I talked with IvyBot, and they said that these aren't really scalping settings, that this, these are more aggressive, more risky settings. So the fact that we're getting big wins and big losses is consistent with how the aggressive settings do trade. But we're going to keep doing this on a demo account, and we're trading it at the same lot size as the live account so that we can compare dollar for dollar what's going on. So now we're looking at the live account's statement. And again, as I said, we're down $41.16, or down 7% for the week. Overall, the account is up $17.13, or up 3%. And now we're looking at the demo account statement for the week. For the week, we are up $21.43. Now, that includes the trade that did close today. Overall, the account is down $250.18. And on the demo account, I'm running the same size trades as I am with the live account. So basically, this way we can take a look at the aggressive settings and see how it does compared to the live account. Now, I also talked to the IvyBot people about the fact that we're only getting trades on the US dollar, Japanese yen. And they said that you should check in your installation, but that most people have been only getting trades on the US dollar, Japanese yen just because of the way the robot trades right now. They also inform me that they are going to be coming out with a, an update on the IvyBot. It should be coming out very soon, hopefully this week sometime, which will change the strategy, change the settings a little bit on all the pairs. And also they told me that they have uh, fixed the five-digit problem with some of the brokers. And so the IvyBot should work with the brokers that use the five-digit reporting. So that's about all I have for you this week. I want to thank you for joining us, and I hope you'll listen to us again next week.